But I don't waste my time trying to prove that I'm something to see Oh, I, the real ones ain't no and the ones that do not, I don't need Cause most see the vision and I give reasons to believe That I'm honest, I'm honest, I'm telling no lies What's up you guys, it's your girl Jess Renee and I'm back with the video So today we're gonna be doing this little special little, you know, meal for our husband So period, if you're trying to get you a man, check this, um, you know, this <laughs> this meal out. I got my girl Simone in the back. I got my sis right here, Bree. Ooh. <laughs> yes, yeah, so before I get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and leave some comments down below what you guys want to see on my channel. And we're going to get right into this video. So right now, I have my girl here, Bree. She's prepping the chicken. She's cleaning the chicken, making sure all the little, little, little um, What's it called? Little nasty, nasty parts that's on the chicken that's off the, the chicken. The fat, there you go. She making sure that fat is not on the chicken. We're gonna clean it up, you know, get it all nice and prepped, put our little seasoning on it, and get it all nice and juicy. So, if you're ready to see this video, keep watching this video, and we're gonna get it popping. Period. Okay, so right here we have our water boiling on the stove. We have it on low. I'm gonna actually try to add a little bit more. Chicken up into little pieces, so that way it can be for the Alfredo. And then I'm gonna show you how we gotta cut the chicken for the bread because it's gonna be different. It's gonna have to be bare. But yeah, so I'm trying to cut that stuff up now. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna start seasoning, so y'all can grab the seasonings. I grab it. <laughs> okay, I have a question, Bree. What's your question, Jasmine? Um, how did you learn how to um, cook? Give some little, you know, tips <laughs> on being a bad bitch in a wife. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm Haitian, mm -hmm. so um, growing up in a Haitian household, mm -hmm. you gotta know how to cook. You're the girl. Amen. And Amen. Sitting in the kitchen and you watch your grandma or whoever's cooking, and you just start. But I started with like pasta, so like I started with macaroni and cheese, mm -hmm. and I started with. Chicken Alfredo, because that's my favorite food. So mm -hmm. I had to learn how to make it chip, make that. We're gonna use food. this, these noodles for uh, our mm -hmm. pasta. Okay, so guys, let me tell you guys how we doing the chicken. Let me get both for you. Okay, so for the chicken, we're gonna cut some of them. You can touch them okay. if you're not scared to. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put, we're gonna cut this long ways, and we're gonna put this particular chicken. We're gonna put it in the bread, and then we're gonna go, we're gonna cut some kind of like this kind of dice to go in the pasta. So. Make sure when you fixing this particular um, meal that you have some cut out like that. Yep. Period. <laughs> Throughout this video, we're gonna give you guys tips on how to be how to be a you know wifey. Cause you know you know yeah, you, you need a ring over here. Period. Um, what's yep. another tip? Um, I don't know. I know. <clears throat> I don't really. I'm not gonna say I don't know how to season, but I really just use like because I like spicy stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's really how I started. Like I started making like hot wings and stuff like that. That's really like what I first started doing. I started making hot wings and fries and burgers, like stuff like that, like little American dishes, whatever. Okay. But just added like my own kick to it. So basically I just cook the way I want. I don't really have like a recipe or nothing for none of this stuff. I just do how I want to. Cook as so when you put your season on your food, how do you know how much to use and how much not to use? I just eyeball it. Just eyeball, okay. <laughs> I just okay. eyeball it. I know what I like. Like if I'm cooking for like a lot of people, like I'm about to cook now, mm -hmm. I, I try to kind of like be mindful of how much spicy I put into it. Right. That's really my problem. Like I use too much spice. Right. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just eyeball it. What you do is taking the fat off the chicken. Yeah. Make sure it's clean. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add seasoning. Yeah. Um, we just grab a whole bunch of stuff that we think we're going to like on the chicken. Yeah. I'm going to show y'all what we're going to use. This is some of the stuff we're going to use. Salt and pepper and what is this? Yeah, that stuff right there. 
I'm gonna tell y'all one thing. I'm not the best cook, but baby, I've been trying. Make yourself get into the kitchen. Yeah. Because you, even if it tastes nasty, like at least you're gonna be able to tell, like, okay, this is what I didn't want. Because, like, mm -hmm. sometimes I made food that's, like, too salty or, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you end up burning stuff. Yeah. But you gotta learn how to cover the burn taste. Yeah. So, it's a lot of different things that you can do when you cook and this and that. But to try and error, I guess. It really is. If, but that's if you ain't got to you got food in Yeah, you know? yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, if you got it like that, then you go, okay, you can try it. Yeah. Real, real. And so, we're going to cut these, this bread up, and we're going to stuff the bread with chicken and cheese. So, we're going to roll the cheese around the bread, around the chicken. We're going to cook the chicken first, but we're going to roll it after the chicken's done cooking. We're going to roll the chicken and cheese, and then put the cheese and, bread, and chicken inside the bread cut it and make it like and put some garlic seasonings and stuff on it so it's gonna be like garlic chicken cheese stuffed bread <laughs> I'm gonna say this smells so beautiful. Okay, so here was what the chicken looks like. Yeah, um, she can't tell us they don't look good. <laughs> Alright, Simone, go ahead and toss that around there. Bree, she gave me the ingredients to make this delicious food for my husband. Mm -hmm. She's gonna take the bread and she's gonna cut out the stuffed bread that's inside of it. Mm -hmm. And then she's gonna insert the chicken and the cheese. cheese. Okay. I'm putting y'all on. Well, she put y'all on. Just like that. Okay. Right 
She so a pro. That's where the chicken and the cheese go. She a pro with this shit. So now we're about to stuff this bread up with the chicken and the cheese. We got this type of cheese, mozzarella. Okay, so guys, make sure that you're you taking the long strips that we cut up earlier. Yeah, make sure you take the long pieces and you're wrapping around the, the bread. I mean, around the cheese. You could wrap it around twice, like with two pieces of cheese. It depends on how cheesy you want it to. But this is a bigger piece of chicken, so it's fat, so you can add more cheese. with some garlic pieces and some parsley to give it that garlic bread taste. So we're gonna just pour some of this butter on it. Cause we ain't got no brush to like splash it on. We're gonna need some more sauce. But it's all gonna be in this pan, so these are gonna taste really good. So we're gonna add some more butter. And um, parsley to that. Well, we parsley is optional, just to give it that you know the little green specks or whatever. Or whatever. But you know, to make it look all nice to make and it fancy. Look, right, to make it give it that fancy look. But you really don't need parsley if you don't have it. You know, but we fancy. So and I suggest you guys to get it. Okay, okay, so I warmed up some more butter and garlic um, to add because we had ran out. And then this is the parsley flakes we used. You don't have to use this, this is optional. And then we have this other batch of bread. Here you go. I'm gonna show the one. Girl, give that one a little toss around because because we did it in the bowl, you see all that juice? Can I say it's quite on my way? You bitches riding on all my waves, but you bitches tired and underpaid. I show